Hey guys, what is up? I'm going to show you a Dollar Tree had some, well, okay, basically this is a doll unboxing, talking about doll stuff. I went to Walmart and I got some dolls that I always wanted, and I want to start doing some photo, um, photo shoots, photography with my dolls, because I think it'd be really fun. I love seeing those on Instagram, and I want to do some myself, but it's not going to be fancy. I'm not going to be taking them to the beach. I'm not going to be taking them, you know, out and about. It's just going to be the backdrop of my desk. But I need something that is one color. Because right now I have a desk mat. But I need something that's going to be a solid color. So that I can put the dolls on there. And you know really do a nice photo shoot of them. In different clothes that I style them in. So I went to Dollar Tree and I bought dolls. And I took the dolls and I donated them. I just put them in a bag and I'm going to donate them. But I basically went to get clothes that I saw for my Rainbow High dolls, for my LOLO, any of my dolls, any of my dolls that I have, I want to start styling them. And these Dollar Tree outfits are super cheap. I even have one from Daiso Japan. So they're super cheap and I thought it'd be really fun to try using them for photo shoots. I mean, for a dollar. So, you know how Rainbow High has all of the colors of the rainbow? Well, I thought this would look really good on the blue-haired one. So, I got some blues. And, yeah, are they cheap? Yeah. Do they feel like paper? Yeah. But what I like about this is that they're not really, um, <laughs> they're just a dollar. And they're literally for photo shoots. I don't need them to be fancy. I don't need them to be super high quality. I just need them for photo shoots. And I was so excited to find these. And they have tons and tons and tons. And I don't think I'm going to be able to show you all of them because they're, they're buried in here. This is where I keep all of my Barbie clothes, just in this little unicorn thing underneath my desk. And I am super excited because this can go for any doll. You know, the purple doll. The These are off of mermaid dolls, so they're cheap. They feel like paper. They're not the best quality. I don't need them to be the best quality. I'm just literally going to be doing a fashion shoot with my dolls. And it's just a hobby. So why buy a bunch of expensive clothes? So I just got the dolls, took off their clothes, threw them in a bag. I'll donate them to Goodwill. And look at that. Isn't that cool? So I showed you that one. Yeah, they're not great quality. But come on, they're freaking dolls. They don't need to be great quality. This one can be for the orange haired doll. Orange haired doll. You see a theme here? I wish they would have had a purple one because if they had a purple one, I could do all of the girls in their um, designated colors. So I really like these. These were off of mermaid dolls. So the dolls were dressed as... The dolls were mermaids and they have these little shiny outfits on them. I love this one. They don't look cheap. They really don't. And you could accessorize them. So that's what I'm going to do. And I really love this. It's like a peacock, but pink. And then this one is like snowflakes for winter. I'm all, what's that thing? And then you have this one. And yeah. They're not the greatest, but they're probably going to photograph really well, I hope. And uh, I got that one. And then I got this one. So... Yeah, I'm excited for that. So let me show you what I got in here as far as dolls go. Um, let me just take this. Let me pause this real quick. Basically, I just want to style dolls. I just want to style dolls. This was um, $5 on clearance. And I love her outfit. Even if I never use the doll. Um, 5 bucks for a really cute outfit. I don't know if she is plus size. I don't know. She looks a little... She, looks, she doesn't look as skinny mini as some of the other Barbies. I don't know. I like this shirt a lot. It says rock. It's a peplum skirt. Peplum skirt. It's a peplum blouse. It's got the little peplum right there. And then that is really cute. And her shoes are really cute too, I think. I can't see her shoes. Where are her shoes? Does this thing unzip? Let's see if it unzips. I can get my scissors. 
She's not articulated and her hair sucks. But for five bucks, you know, whatever. I love to style them. Once you put all of their accessories on and all of their clothes on, um, you don't even see the cheap doll. So it's just a really cheap, hard plastic, but I really like doing styling videos with these. Um, I've tested it out. I haven't really shown anyone my videos that I've done um, or the pictures that I've taken because my setup isn't what I want it to be. So once I get it perfected, I will start showing more of my dolls on Instagram. And I'm really excited for that because there's going to be a lot of content and it's going to be fun. So, love her skirt. Her clothes feel about as cheap as the Dollar Tree ones. Her shoes are really nice. I love these. These are great. And yeah, so, super excited for that. Love dressing my dolls. Oh, I'll show you the fashion packs. So, this is a really cute fashion pack. These do fit LOL, OMG, they fit, I think they do fit Rainbow High. Barbie clothes are pretty universal, so we'll just you know, trial and error. We'll see how that goes. And I love it. I think it's super pretty. Oh my gosh, the quality is so much better on these clothes. But hey, these were $4. Those were a dollar. So yeah, whatever. But yeah, the quality is so good on these. And on this one, um, I don't know if this is a jogging outfit. I don't know what this is, but I really like having loungewear for my dolls. I think it's cool. And I want to see what this looks like. So I'm going to kind of struggle and open this on camera. They come with these little teeny tiny annoying plastic thingamajiggers and irritates the living heck out of me. And it would irritate a parent as well because they are just, and you can't even get these out without really struggling. So I just cut the sides of them because I don't have all that time. Um, I'm really curious to see what this looks like. Ah, don't fall. Oh! It is a lounge set. Why do they do this? They put little things all over them. But look at this. It's so cute. And these are shorts. This would look so good on the blue-haired rainbow high doll. And you guys are like, why don't you name them? I think it's Skylar. I'm not sure. But anyway, this would look so cute on her a little lap. I could do so many outfits. So many outfits. The shoes, of course, aren't going to fit. But that's okay. I knew that going in. I knew that. So these are really cute. I like these. I like these a lot. These are really cute. I love that. Oh, and I want to see this one. This little red number I got for Ruby. I want to see how this looks. And I'm going to kind of open this. These little packages are so annoying and they're so not, they're just not. I mean the way that I do it, I know you guys are probably all cringing. You're like, you cut these open? Yeah, because I can't get the packaging out. I just can't. It's like practically impossible. Is this thing running? I don't know if this is going to fit um, Ruby. I don't know. She's kind of thick, so this looks tiny. We'll see, though. I will. I'm gonna keep it, of course, because why not? This is like some concerto outfit for like a concert of some sort because it has a violin bow and a violin, and this is parents' worst nightmare: trying to open up their children's toys. Oh, isn't this cute? This is adorable. I'll be saving this. Oh, how does this go? This can go on her fingers and then, yeah. That's really cute, I really like that. Okay, well since I opened up the other ones, let me open up this one. This is absolutely adorable. And yeah, the quality is so much better than on the paper outfits that I got from Dollar Tree, but hey, I'm okay with that. You don't always have to have the best of the best. You can figure things out, try new things. I'm certainly going to try those out because I think it's going to be really fun to... I want to have a lot of options, okay? I want to have a lot of options when it comes to 
on my dolls. And those are $4. If I could find something cheaper, why not? So I did get the Barbie unicorn hair. Anyway, she looks like this. And I have a feeling the hair is going to be croptastic. It comes with... Just read it. I don't know how many things it comes with. It's It said... I thought it said... Unicorn, da 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 da, choking hazard, small parts. I guess it doesn't say. Should I open it? Do you want me to open it? I wasn't really prepared to open it, but I guess I can. Oh, look, she's already open. Hmm. This one was pricey. This one was like 14 Again, clearance. Oh, okay. I'll open it for you guys. Well, here it is without the glare. So it's got a mermaid shirt, a unicorn shirt, some hair extensions, a rainbow headband, not a rainbow headband, a unicorn headband, um, unicorn barrettes, really cute shoes, a brush, again, some really cute silver shoes. And yeah, oh, these barrettes are adorable. Oh, and another little headband. I know her hair is going to be craptastic. I know it. I have no high. Oh, look, she even comes with, um, I love these little hair ties. I save those. Um, dude, this is so cute. This is adorable. I love this. Um, all of these thingamajiggers. Oh, I don't want to break this, so I'll actually do it with my scissors. Okay, so there's that. Oh, look at the little barrette. That's cute. Can you see that? That's adorable. Okay. Unboxing dolls is so fun. You're like, okay. Ooh, look at hair stuff. Oh, you put this on. Oh, I'm going to leave these on. I'm going to leave this on. I'm going to put it on her head and she's going to look fancy and fun. That's interesting. So let's undo her shoes. Doo -doo. My favorite thing to do is dress my dolls. It's very therapeutic. And then take pictures of them. But like I said, I have kids, so I don't do elaborate photo shoots. I do this stuff for fun. And I think it'd be interesting to see like a real life person do doll photography that's not over thought overthought that doesn't even, that doesn't even make sense that's not overdone I mean who has time to go to the beach and you know set up a whole miniature photography studio I certainly don't I'm not gonna do it even if I did have the time I wouldn't do it I just like sitting in my room and that's to each their own I mean I love the doll community I really do and to the people who do these beautiful um exquisite backdrops and lakes and canoeing and yes I'm, I'm not being sarcastic they do fantastic shoots at the beach at the rivers you know those are great but I've got kids I don't get out a lot <laughs> it's a battle to get the kids shoes on to do anything so maybe if I had the time I would but I don't the only time that I have is like right now when my sister's with the kids and my parents are with the kids. It's already going to be 7 or 6 in the evening. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? But yeah, I don't have time to do the elaborate photo shoots. And I'm kind of at 7. By the time I get done taking care of the kids at the end of the day, I don't have time for that. But you do you. I always say, you do you. Just because I'm a crotchety curmudgeon doesn't mean that you have to listen to me. I am kind of a curmudgeon. It's like, I just don't have the time to do that. It's great that you do, but I don't. You know, and there's such steep competition to have the best photos on Instagram. I just do this stuff for fun. I'm doing these photo shoots for fun, for me. Mostly just for me, not to show off how great I am. Um, my first outfit that I pulled off, I loved it. And it wasn't... Um, it wasn't really fancy, and it wasn't really um, 
you know, and I also don't have a, I'm not going to invest in a good camera either. That's something that I'll never do because I'm just not into that. So my photos are always going to be like just for my own fun and my own love. <gasps> Her hair is better. Her hair is better. Oh my God, I'm so happy. And the light is fading. I'm going to have to turn my lamp on. <gasps> oh my God, her hair is better. Eee! Okay, she's not articulated, but you know, it is what it is. <gasps> her hair is better. What more can I ask for? What more can I ask for? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Let me see how this looks on her. Actually looks. Oh. This doll is fantastic. It's not articulated, you know, there's no movage. It's just plastic, but it's fantastic and fun. Look at that. Woo! Um, this is just the headband with the crazy little colors on it, and then you take it off. Bada bing, bada boom, you've got her funky, fun hair. It's tinsel, but hey, I'm not complaining. Um, I absolutely love this. Her hair is better. Her hair is better. It has just a little bit way, way better than than this monstrosity. But like I said, once you style them, the hair doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, as far as this goes, oh, oh, let's try this. Oh, I know it's not supposed to go on this, but. It's kind of cool. It's kind of funky and fun. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I got this. This is so fun. This does not match her hair at all. This does not match her hair. Come on. I'm, I'm not seeing how this matches her hair. Um. I like the other one a lot better. But this, this is fun. I could totally, totally jive with this. Anyway, this is awesome. I love it. I'm telling you guys, um, my nephews are pretty much living here right now. And my sister, because there was an accident at her house. And um, what is this in her hair? Oh, shoot. What is this? My sister's house flooded. In case you guys are wondering, like, why are the boys here all the time? Why are you seeing them a lot? Um, because I will never get to film if I don't film when they're here. Does that make sense? Like, I have to film. I don't have to film. I do this because I love to film. And I like showing you guys stills and deals. These dolls are on sale, by the way. So look out for them. I don't know where you guys live, but I live in Los Angeles. And a lot of the dolls, I'm just loving her hair. And a lot of the dolls are going on sale. So this hair is amazing. I love it. I'm so happy with this doll. I can't wait to style you. You're going to be so much fun. And she's got earrings. And she's perfect. Ah, oh, love. Okay, so let's open up this one. Let's play, let's play. So yeah, I love filming for you guys and I just moved you. But this is the leopard rainbow hair. I finally got her and I think this is the lightest. I think this is the medium skin tone. I'm not sure, but I really, really like her and I finally jumped on it because it was on sale. Instead of being $17, it was, I think 12, not that much of a sale. Oh shoot, did I just hurt myself? What is this with me hurting myself today? I'm trying to open stuff and just, yeah. Ugh. Oh, I love how easy the packaging is to open. I'm super happy with this. Ooh. Okay, I'm happy because I think, okay, so look at this is all her, the stuff that she comes with. And I'm just gonna unbox it all. Because why not, I have time. I decided that I, I really, I was feeling like I want to film, but I can't film because it's always so noisy. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to film. Noise and all. Because some people are like, I don't like hearing kids in the background. Well, what are you, Scrooge? <laughs> I kid, I kid, I kid. Don't take anything I say too seriously. Um, I kid, I joke. It's all good. Oh, look at this shirt. This is really cute. Really cute. The scrunchies, everybody and their mother was complaining that she couldn't wear these in her hair. I don't care. They're not meant for that. They're meant for her for her wrist. So she could be that um, 
Visco girl. If I'm even saying that right. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Look at these sneakers. They're yellow. I wish these would fit my rainbow high doll. Because these are sweet. That's a really... That's probably not even... I'm probably using slang terms that aren't even popular anymore. They're probably outdated. And I sound like a dilapidated old fogey. Oh, I love this. It's a backpack. That's cute. This is really cute. It's a vest. Ooh, this feels about as cheap as the Dollar Tree clothes. Oh, this is Dollar Tree clothes material. Like, no joke. And I'm not hating. I appreciate. But I'm just saying. Why well, I'm going to keep this brush because I don't have any brushes that say Barbie on it. And it's leopard print, so I will keep that. I don't keep all the brushes. I, in fact, I keep very little of them. What the heck is this? What is this? This is so cute. I'm keeping this. It's like a little trash can. I don't know. I'm keeping that, though. That's adorable. Okay, and now let's try and get her free. Free the Kraken! No. Okay. These dolls are nice. I know everybody cracks jokes on the whole Barbie, you know, has gone to hell in a handbasket, but I'm about it. I'm okay. They're cheap dolls, okay? Not everybody can afford to buy really expensive dolls. Not everybody can afford to buy a $30 doll. You know, come on, the fashions are here. Yeah, they're cute. I like them. Her feet just popped out of her shoes. Well, that's okay then, because I want to try, because I don't really like these. I want to try these. Yeah, I mean, not everybody can afford to buy, like, a super expensive doll, you know? These are perfect. These are, like, what, 17 bucks versus a $30 doll, and the fashions are really cute, and you could play with them and style them. Hey, I'm all about that. She's really cute. I like it. Um, some people are like, they should have flocked this. Well, it costs money to put a little flocking right here. And they would rather save the consumer some money. And that's okay because, like I said, not everybody can afford a $30 doll. And for me, she's got earrings. She's got beautiful hair. Her hair is on point. Let's do this. Let's play. This is what I love. I love about doll. Woo! Come back here, you. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to be creative. Oh, this isn't going to work because her head is shaped weird. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. Never mind. But her hair was really nice. I don't have to wash it. I could literally play with her. Can you imagine just taking a picture of her and be like, eee. Really, really cool. I love it. love it so much. This was fun. Let's try these on. Let's see how these look. Ugh, look. I'm a Visco girl. Let's wear them all. I'm a Visco girl. Yeah, look at that. Cute. Can you put these in her hair? I don't think you can. If you do it really tight. Oh, wait. Let me do something. What the hiddly hay are doll collectors complaining about? This is amazing. It's plastic but who freaking cares can you even tell that's plastic if you're looking that close it's a scrunchie and it fits her hair they never maybe i maybe they did but i don't recollect they open and they could close around her hair a lot of people are like i want fabric i want realness well the price point for 17 dollars come on come on 30 dollars for a rainbow high doll some people can't. $30 for a rainbow high doll. Some people can't afford that. They uh, need to pay childcare. They have a mortgage to pay. You know, there's real life responsibilities. Um, that's ridiculous that people complain so much about little details of, it probably takes like 10 cents to make fabric. Well, you don't know. You don't know. So anyway, I, I'm really, really happy with this. I hate people who are picky and are like so bougie when it comes to dolls. Um, you're never going to find that on this channel. I love dolls. I love every kind of doll from $3 dolls to $30 dolls. I love dolls and I'm never going to be a doll snob. 
because I'm serious, you know? I love this. I think it's awesome. I think it's fun. And a little girl would love this. And her sneakers are so cute and fun. So, yeah. Am I happy with her? Oh, very. Let's see what she looks like with this. Oh, my gosh. This is so fun. I love, love dolls. Let's see. I don't think this is going to match. This looks cheap. And I say that after going on a rant. But, I mean, the sparkly and this, it just doesn't... I, I would need to, like, do, like, a simple... Like, I would need to do this instead and then put the vest on. And then it would look better because the fabrics don't match. But, yeah, I'm in love. I'm happy. I think she's awesome. And with that being said, I love you guys to Reese's Pieces and Beyond. Have a happy day, night, year, week. Don't be a doll snob. And I'm not chastising anyone when I say that. You do you. You can like whatever you want to like. Love whatever you want to love. I'm just saying that I get really sick of the people who love Rainbow High and are like, Barbie sucks. Barbie's horrible. Well, Barbie's not meant for a collector. You know, they do come out with collector dolls. But these Barbies, these aren't meant to be collector Barbies. These are playthings for children. And I'm a child at heart and I like dolls. So yeah. I will be dressing these up and styling them. They're not, they're not for adults. They're for kids, you know. And um, Rainbow High for me is not a doll for kids. I I wouldn't want my kids playing with that. They're a little too scantily clad. Um, they're very grown up dolls. I don't really see them being for like a three or four year old. I think they're they're trying to market these dolls to like sixteen year olds. And that's fine, but there needs to be a market for everyone. And Barbie is a market for everybody, like every age range, you know. And I think that's very important that you have toys for kids. Because I think our market is saturated with collector dolls, like LOL, OMG. Those are great, but they're so intricate and so hard to open. Um, it takes away a little bit of the play, f um, the play factor away. And then, hold on real quick. So I think that, and you know what? Honest to goodness, I wouldn't want to give my 10-year-old a Rainbow High doll that's $30 that they're going to play with for maybe a couple days. All of the accessories get lost. They're not intriguing and they're not fun anymore because all of their accessories are gone. And I was that kid. If I lost an accessory and I had a hard time, you know, keeping everything together, I got bored of the doll because the accessories were got lost, misplaced, who knows what happened to them. But for me, Rainbow High dolls don't have a real play factor. They have more of a collectability factor, and they're a little bit more intricate. Whereas with Barbies, you're not going to care if your kid accidentally chops off their hair or loses an earring, because these dolls are cheap. They're meant to be cheap, and they're meant to be played with. So when people get all like, oh my god, these are plastic. Um, they're meant for kids. They're not meant for, for collectors. So, I love you guys so, so much. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon. And for those of you who are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. And I say all this with love. Everything I say, I say with love. This is just my opinion. My little, you know, ranting about dolls and the doll industry. And, you know, I love everybody who collects dolls and has their own opinions about dolls and doll brands and I love all that stuff. Um, I'm passionate about certain things and that's okay. To have passion is to live and to live passionately is the best way to live at all. If that makes any sense at all. Anyway, you can hear my nephew screaming in the background. If you don't like kids, um, too bad, so sad. <laughs> I love my darlings. They're happy. They're playing with their mom. Hide and go seek. If you're an oldie moldy, you know how my life is. And um, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.